Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to tell how to draw a Briskis diagram of a banking system in Star Arena. So please subscribe my channel so that you can view all the latest videos related to this. So let's get started. To draw a use case diagram, first I need to add a use case subject. So I'll just drag it here and I'll give it the name as banking. After that, I have to add the actors. So add, add. in this banking system, there needs three actors. The first one is customer. And the second one is the teller. The third one is the banking system itself. So these are the three actors that are important for a banking system. So now we have to add the use cases. The first use case that is important with the customer, that is open account. So whenever a user comes to a bank, the first step, what he will do is open his account. So I'll just connect it with the association. So this is the first step of a customer when he comes to a bank. The second use case that is important is withdraw money savings. Whatever money savings the customer has done, he can withdraw it. So withdraw. This will automatically expand this. So, uh, you can reduce its size more, or we can just increase if you want. So I'm going to drag it here. And this will also be connected with the customer. Third use case that is also very important one that is deposit money. So deposit money is having a connection with the customer as well as with the banking system. Now you will think how it has a connection with the banking system because whenever the customer will deposit, it's his money. So the banking system will update its balance. So the use case that we're gonna add is, the use case is update balance. And what we need to do is, we'll just, yeah. We have to connect deposit money with the update balance because this is a mandatory. Whenever a customer will deposit its money, it is mandatory that the banking system will update its balance. So what we have to do is, for mandatory, we connect is with the include option. Include means that it is mandatory whenever a customer will deposit its money, the banking system will update its balance. So this is a very important concept that needs to be understood. So we'll connect this all. The second uh, important, it's not important, but it's optional, that is, that is extend one, and it is generated in the interest savings. So the use case is generate interest savings. And this one is optional, why? Because uh, a customer, when he deposits its money, then it is an optional that it can generate the interest saving. It depends on his account. So it is, it is optional. So I'm connected the deposit money with the generate one, but it will extend. What does extend means? Extend means that it's optional. One. It's not mandatory, but include means that it is mandatory. So it's just mixing. I'll just change its... We can move it down, yeah. So deposit money is extended to generate interest saving. That means it is option one. So it also being connected with the generate. So this is also an option one. The next use case is customer change password. It will be connected with the customer because this is also very important that the customer can change its password. We can just write change password. The customer can change his or her password 
and it's a very important use case that needs to be included. The next uh, use case is the last one we can say that is connected with the customer is the check balance. Because the customer needs to check his or her balance, and it's a very also a very important use case. I'm going to just decrease its size. That's what we can just drag it here. So check balance is also very important here. And we can connect it with the customer. Now, if you come to uh, Teller, then Teller is also being connected to the balance. So we can also connect the Teller with the check balance. And the last use case that we need is, we can just move the Teller uh, a little long. The last use case that we need to add here is display account history. This use case will be connected with both the banking system as well as the teller. Why? Because the banking system is also going to display account history and the teller is also associated with it. So we're going to connect it with both of them. So as you can see, this is a very simple use case diagram of a banking system and it's very easy to understand it. And I can just explain it all in a very easy way. So if you have liked the video, please subscribe my channel so that I can view all the latest videos related to it. Thank you.